What's up guys? Hope you're doing well. I am on my way to life group. Hey, it's been over 10 years of going to life group. All right. Good thing it's not just a church program and it's actually a community of people following the Lord. Otherwise, this would have gotten old by now. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. All right. I'm in a little bit of a bittersweet mood because we sold today a drone, a DJI Mavic Air 2S, our nicest drone, for a nice $750. Great sale. But here's the bitter part. One, I kind of wanted to keep it, and now I don't have it anymore. So that's a little sad. Not just for pleasure, but like for business purposes. I mean, who doesn't need a really nice drone? Most people, including me, but I wanted it. The other reason it's bitter, it mixed in with the sweet, is because we don't have any more. So it's a weird feeling as a seller to sell something that you don't have any more of because the pain of realizing you cannot sustain that income or that particular income stream for that particular product is no longer available to you can totally dwarf the fact that you just got a great price for a $750 item and that automatically makes a pretty good day of sales, you know? <clears throat> and that wasn't the only thing we sold today. But it's weird, the emotional journey of entrepreneurship as a whole, but it, it gets nitty gritty into all the different specific things that have their own emotional journeys. And hey, since I, lead, I led with that, this wasn't what I was planning on sharing <clears throat> in today's video, but I'll go ahead and, I'll go, ahead and go here, because I am thankful for this, and I've been thinking about it a lot, which is, that I'm thankful that God has just sustained me emotionally through the roller coaster of entrepreneurship. Like there really are days where you just feel like the biggest baller, you know? Like, man, I'm 28 years old and I work for myself, you know? Like I get up when I want to, which this morning was 4 a.m. <laughs> I go to bed when I want, like I, I can, if I want to take a nap during the day, I'll take a nap. If I want to stay home and be with the kids, I will. But, of course, as an entrepreneur, if you don't have a high motor, you're not going to last very long. And so, it's not like I'm working less than I was before. Really, I'm working more. But it's so fun, and you're creating value, and you're risking, and you're learning, and it's just so engaging. And I'm just so thankful. Like, man, this is crazy. Like, some days you just walk into common goods or you finish up with a client meeting or today I was sending out a fee summary emails to our clients highlighting a you know here's quarter one here's what I'm seeing in the macro environment here's why I'm excited about your portfolio moving forward how I'm allocating things like I love doing that for clients and I'm like man I get to do this for people you know like this is just awesome and you can get so high which is a great feeling, but not necessarily a feeling you want to trust because just because you feel awesome and like this is so fun doesn't mean that you're going to keep doing this, you know? <laughs> like there's a lot you need to build and uh, from a culture perspective, from an administration perspective, from the sales pipeline perspective, like there's infrastructure of the business. There's so much to do that if you don't do you know, the end is near. And so your the highs of your emotions can be misleading and detach you from maybe some realities that should be concerning you more than they are in that moment because you're just so caught up in how cool this feels or how different this is, you know. And on the inverse, there are just so many low lows. And I think the human tendency is definitely to magnify the lows, you know, like... <clears throat> you know, my Facebook Marketplace profile has something like 300 five-star reviews and something like 14 one-star reviews. And 
I feel the 14, right? It's like the one comment that's negative. I'm like, man, why did they say that? And that wasn't even true. And ah, you know, but of course the average is still like 4.8. It's not like it's actually hurting me, but emotionally it is, we just fixate on the things that are missing our expectations. And it's another level with entrepreneurship because you're not just keeping up with whatever. What am I trying to say? Like to lead a business or to lead anything, to lead people, you know, if you're a person that mentors people or if you have kids or whatever, like you can always be focused on what the next step is. And with businesses especially, like you, you're moving forward, you're making progress. If you're not making progress, it's a bad, bad sign, you know? So you wanna see progress. And with a business this young, businesses this young, you wanna see progress quick most of the time, you know? Hey, that's all I got for y'all today. My wife's calling me, so I'll talk to y'all soon. Life is worship, God is love. <laughs>